I was up at Fort William on the weekend and I spent most of the time up at the start gate supporting riders. And I would see people in the queue for their race runs, some of them so gripped with fear and anxiety that they were visibly shaking some of these people and really suffering, you know. And you're not going to be able to put a good race run together when you feel like that. So I've been trying to think of a solution to how to help these people. And I think I've come up with one, which is the Alcoholics Anonymous 12 Steps to Quitting Alcoholism. Bear with me. Step number one is admitting you're an alcoholic. You've all probably heard that one. Step number 12 is the one, right? They say statistically, if you do 11, but not the 12th step, you're going back to being an alcoholic. If you do all 12, you're very unlikely to go back to alcoholism. That 12th step is to become a mentor for another struggling alcoholic so that when they are suffering, they look to you for support so that you are that rock, that pillar of strength for someone else. And that's fascinating to me that it's not about you. It's about the community. So if you really struggle with pre-race nerves, why don't you find a younger athlete or someone who's not as far down the career path as you? Bring them up. Be that older brother or older sister to them. And when they're looking for you for support on race day, it's going to make you just detach and think a little bit more clearly because we can't do this type of thing on our own. You know, humans really need each other. And if you can be that support structure for someone else, I think it's really going to help.